Welcome to Tech Business Army. In this video, we are going to learn how to use web activity in uh, Fabric Data Pipeline. So, so what exactly is web activity in Microsoft Fabric or Data Pipeline? Uh, the web activity in Microsoft Fabric Data Pipeline is used to call external HTTP or REST APIs uh, as part of your data pipeline workflow. It enables you your pipeline to interact with the web services that trigger remote operations or retrieve data from APIs. So I think of it like making a web request like a get, post and etc to external system from inside your pipeline. So here are some key features such as HTTP or HTTPS support. So you, it supports get, post, put, delete. So all those different operations can be used or methods can be used. Custom headers add APIs keys, barrier tokens or content types. So request body send JSON payloads for post or put. Capture response, use response in the downstream activities. And then work with the variables. Use pipeline variables in URL body dynamically. So let's go ahead and take a look into our data pipeline, how exactly the web activity look like and what are different features available and how we can get the data. Now let's go to the my workspace here and this is called the sales workspace. I have this folder called pipelines and here I'm going to create new item and then select the data pipeline. I'm going to name this one PL web. So that's going to be our pipeline. There are many things you can do and uh, such as let's say you want to extract uh, the weather information or maybe some other information uh, that can be done uh, from the web activity. So in this case uh, today we are going to do we are going to extract uh, a joke uh, from the one of the website. Uh, so here uh, is uh, my web activity and uh, what I will be using. Uh, I'm going to put this link here and uh, then uh, so when we post this uh, official joke.api.appsparts.com uh, uh, and then random joke, uh, then uh, what it send us, it send us uh, one joke. Uh, and you can see that uh, this is uh, the setup and uh, then we can see right there, that's uh, information, then the punchline is right there. So we can extract that information. Uh. So let's go back to our pipeline here and uh, then uh, I'm going to go right here in the web activity, let's uh, take a look on the uh, this uh, setting. So here is the first thing is the connection or reference to the REST connection for authentication purposes. So you will go right here then click on more and now you will see that the new sources and here if you will click on all of anything there is only one web v2. So that's all you have. Here you will publish put the base URL and provide all other information if it is needed. In my case it is going to be straightforward so I have provided the base URL and now it is going to give you the connection and in our case we are going as anonymous. Now we are going to go ahead and connect and then what we will do from there we will be able to get some information. So here is my web activity ready and uh, now you have a relative URL in those cases you can provide the information here or you can also save from the uh, or put from the variable. Uh, so here is a different uh, parameters you can use a parameter or variable if you have to provide the relative URL from the parameter or variable. Uh, here are the methods uh, you can see we have get, post, put and delete. Uh, so these are different methods available and also there is a patch of a method available. Uh, so depending upon your needs, though, you will use one of the method. I'm going to use the get method here. And then here, I don't have any headers and all that. But if you need to provide the headers, then you can provide headers. Headers that are sent to the request, for example, to send the language and type of the request, header accept language, EN US, content type, application JSON. So in those cases, depending upon your, your method or what you are using, you will be providing more information. Here is advanced, you can have HTTP request timeout, you have a disable asynchronous pattern, disable certification validation and all that. So there are different parameters you can pass through it depending upon your needs. Now we are all good here and I'm going to go ahead and execute this pipeline and then we are going to take a look on the output. Our pipeline has completed successfully and let's go ahead and take a look on the output and here you can see that it is returning us a different information. We can see that this is the information we would like to see. We will say who is the coolest doctor in the hospital and then the punchline is the hip doctor. 
So these, this is uh, the uh, information I would like to say. Well, this is coming in into different uh, key uh, key values. So I would like to extract this and put into one. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and create a variable here and the once we create a variable I'm going to call this one uh, joke text. Uh, okay so this is my variable and now I'm going to use the another activity called the set variable. Uh, so I can use set variable here and uh, then uh, I'm going to connect my web activity with this one then go right here and go to settings here and uh, this is my joke text variable. Uh, now I'm going to extract those uh, different values from there. So I'm going to go to the add dynamic uh, and here is uh, my web activity. So I'm going to concat uh, because uh, remember that there are uh, uh, two values that uh, we will be concatenating. Uh. So in the concatenation uh, what I will want to do, I want to do the output dot uh, in this case is a uh, setup and then uh, I would like to do some more. I'm going to do uh, right here maybe put um, a dash here and then uh, I will uh, put the second time uh, what I would like to do dot punch line uh. so I'm gonna write that as well and output dot punch line okay so this uh, looks great and uh, we are gonna get hit okay and now we can go ahead and execute this uh, once we execute that uh, is uh, going to web activity is going to go get the new joke for us uh, and uh, then uh, it will be saved uh, into the variable uh, from there you can do a lot more maybe you want to save this uh, into the table or maybe write somewhere in the file so you can uh, um, pass this variable and uh, perform all those different operations uh, but goal was to introduce you to the web activity and uh, tell you what different type of uh, methods you can use here and uh, how connections are made and i think we have done that part uh, so let's go to the uh, web activity here we see that uh, this is why don't uh, uh, react uh, developers uh, like uh, nature and uh, they prefer the nature dom so that's the punchline and if i go right here in the variable output uh, and you can see right there uh, so we have a uh, name of the variable uh, joke text uh, and uh, then a uh, value for that one is right here it has concatenated uh, the value here so that was our setup and this was our punchline uh, so that's the value we can use in next uh, activities or maybe we would like to write to the table or file we can do that uh. so i hope uh, you learning how learn how to use the web activity in uh, microsoft fabric uh, uh, pipelines and i will see you guys uh, in next video